What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Unite and ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing a brand new Pokemon that has just been released, who is Blastoids. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But like I said, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing Blastoise, his best move set, and his best held items, and how to play him on the rank ladder. So let's get started here. We're going to head down into our Pokemon level category and go check out this thing's stats. His offense is two stars, endurance is three and a half, mobility is two stars, scoring is two stars, and support is three stars. This is a defending Pokemon, and it is very, very good at controlling battles and helping out your team. But let's go check out his move set he is a very very strong pokemon they said in the beta i never got a chance to play the canadian beta like i played the actual beta when it came out but blasters wasn't in it but way back in like march or something like that there was the actual like first beta and blasters was there and everybody was saying he was broken but this pokemon starts off with two moves you can either go into water gun or or Skull Bash. Preferably, I like to go in the Water Gun. It helps you uh, control wild enemies more and get levels quicker. So, Water Gun is typically the move that I like to start off with. Then, when you hit level 5, you can split it in the Water Spout or Hydro Pump. And I heard that either way you go is really, really well. But in today's video, we're going to be trying out Hydro Pump because it's like that typical Blastoise move. So, we're going to be rocking out with Hydro Pump. It has the user attack by blasting out a huge volume of water, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon, and shoving them when it hits. So, it is basically a Water Gun with extra size and it pushes all the enemies who are inside that back when it upgrades it just increases the damage dealt on the move next move you can actually split into is water spout which spouts water towards a designated location decreasing the movement speed of opposing pokemon in the area for a short time and when it's upgraded it increases the damage dealt so it's basically like a venus or poison i should say because it's an area damage and it's very good at getting the last hit on wild pokemon so say if you're going up against Shrednall, you can actually just throw that water spout when he's really really low and just have constant damage hitting and usually getting the last hit on that Pokemon, giving you the Dreadnought team, and rocking out from there. Next move, like I said, is Skull Bash, which is the first move. It fiercely ramps to the opposing Pokemon, makes it unable to act, so it's a little stun and a dash at the same time. So it's pretty good, and it's nice to start off with. But then it splits down to Surf and Rapid Spin, which are both phenomenal moves. But in today's video, we're going to be showcasing Surf, because Surf is amazing. I cannot wait to show you guys Blastoise and Surf. It is so much different from every other Pokemon Surf. You're just going to have to see it. Uh, to uh, know what it does, but it has users charge forward on a wave, shoving the opposing Pokemon and leaving them unable to act. So it's a little stun, and it is a huge wave with huge radius that just pushes everything back in its area. The user also becomes immune to hindrances while using this move and can jump to the designated area once the move ends. Once upgraded, it also grants a shield when the move hits. That's amazing. That is legit so strong. So it's a huge wave, and at the end of it, you can dash whichever designated direction. You can dash to the right, you can dash to the left, or you can dash forward and get a little bit longer dash. So we'll showcase that in today's video and show how that move actually works. Next move is Rapid Spin. So has the user spin rapidly, changing the mechanics of its basic attack as well as its Hydro Pump and Water Spout moves. Also reduces the damage that the user receives while using this move. So it's a buff. You spin around and you start getting like a bunch of different buffs and you can actually attack while in, you're in there. So your defense is bulked, your basic attacks are bulked, and you can use your Hydro Pump or whatever move you have right next to it uh, while you're in that Rapid Spin. So it's very good at defense and very good at controlling areas. Final move for this Pokemon is going to be his Unite move. And where's that at? It's right here. Unite move is Hydro Typhoon. It is a hindrance move, so it's basically a stun. And it has the user spout water to attack while spinning, throwing the opposing Pokemon in a large area. This also grants the user a shield. That is amazing, so it's going to grant us a shield. And then with the item I'm using, the Buddy Barrier, we're going to be able to actually grant our opposing Pokemon, or not opposing Pokemon, our ally Pokemon a shield with that as well. But what this move does is it's... Right where Blastoise is at, he spins a giant circle. Like, I mean huge circle. Cannot wait to show off this move. Huge circle all around, hitting any single Pokemon in that area and pushing them all back away from him. So it's amazing. It's awesome. It rocks out all around. Blastoise is an amazing Pokemon, and I really cannot wait to show off this Pokemon. But now that we showed off the moves, let's go ahead into the items. Check out the items for this Pokemon and show off his best held items. And that is going to be the Focus Band, the Buddy Barrier. Surprise, surprise. Those two items rock out really, really well on anybody. And then the final item is going to be the Scoring Shield for this bulky Defender. So Focus Band, what it does is when the Pokemon drops to low HP, then each second for three seconds, it recovers 11% of the HP that it has lost. So for a Defender like uh, Blastoise over here, when it drops low, it's just going to constantly get more HP and be able to survive longer and control the battle. It also gives a defense boost and special defense boost as its little buffs. Next is the Buddy Barrier. So uh, we already talked about that a little bit. It's when the Pokemon uses a Unite move, a nearby ally Pokemon with the lowest HP will grant a shield for 30% of their max HP. That is awesome. That is amazing. Keeping Pokemon alive and keeping you alive a little bit longer as well. Also gives you a little HP buff, so this Pokemon is a little bit bulkier. 
Final item we have on this Pokemon is the Score Shield, which I just bought for this Pokemon and leveled it up with all my item enhancers, but this item is amazing. Cannot wait to use it and rock out with it. So while the Pokemon is attempting to score a goal, it's granted a shield equal to 7.5% of its max HP, and its goals cannot be interrupted while it's shielded. So it's basically just a shield while you're trying to score, so you get off those points, get a little bit extra HP, and get a little bit of more XP every time you score. Also, this thing gives a little bit of HP boost as its little uh, stat, so making this Pokemon even more bulky with all three of these items. But there it goes. There's the items. There's the best moveset for Blastoids. Let's hop into some rank battles and try to get some wins showcasing this new Pokemon. So guys, we were able to lock in Blastoise for battle number one here. I played one battle off screen just to test them out and get a little feel for them, considering I never played a defender before. But yo, this Pokemon is amazing. With the moveset of Surf and Hydro Pump, you have so much control pushing back enemies and helping out allied Pokemon along the way. But our team's looking pretty solid right here. We got me and Pikachu in that top lane. I'm guessing Slowbro and uh, Snorlax is going to go in that bot lane alongside with Absol in that central lane. Which I'm really liking. I'm really liking. But yo, Blastoise is amazing. His Unite move is probably one of the best in the game. So I cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. But he does not evolve until level 9. So it goes level... 1 to 5 is just Squirtle, and then when you hit 5, it's going to be War Turtle up until level 9, and then you get Blastoids. And when you hit Blastoids, that is when he is just an absolute beast. Like, War Turtle, he's okay. He does pretty good with Squirtle and War Turtle, but once you hit Blastoids in the higher levels, he turns into an absolute monster, and he's very bulky and just great all around. But let's get started here. We're rocking out in that top lane. We're going to unlock Water Gun for our first move here. And we are actually using the eject button as well for this Pokemon because, you know, eject button is probably, like, the best item for him. And, yo, who just took that? Oh, no, I got it. But I was going to say, yo, did that Absol really just take that from us? I was going to be so upset. I was going to be so upset. I was going to be like, what you mean? Let's see if we can line these Pokemon up. Nope, they don't line too well. Hopefully, I was, I was hoping that Pikachu could hit that uh, Apom there. He can have that, actually. I'm just going to head over to this one and try to push this Corefish back to our side. This Corefish is awesome, so let's push him back over here. And look at that, yo. Look at that control there. Look at that control there. And now we have this guy locked in here. I'm going to get an early kill. I'm going to have to dip back a little bit and go from here. Can Pikachu's chill there? Pikachu, get some damage off, baby. Get some damage off. I'm going to go here, grab myself Citrus Berry, and try to get level 4 from this Apom here. If I can get an Apom. Come on, give me Apom. Give me Apom. Nope, did not get Apom. It's all good. Absolute's going to come out over here in just a second. And we're going to have to wait till that 9-minute mark to hit level 4, considering that Corefish spawns in that upper left corner. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait for that, get level 4, and then be able to rock out up against the bees. But here comes Absol. Maybe I can get up here and sneak a KO. I think I just wait for the bees and defend here. Absol's just chilling here with us. Let's see if I can actually get a little hit on this guy. Yep, there we go. A little bit of damage. And I got level 4 from that, so I really do dig that. This guy's trying to score here, and he ends up he ends up scoring. He buttery biscuit. I'm going to skull bash over here and push these guys back that way towards Pikachu. And maybe we can pick up some KOs here, which could be huge for us. Which could be huge for us. Let's push these guys back again in just a second. And I push him back. There we go. Like that. And then just hit him up with that. He's got to get HP. I'm going to go score my points with my score shield. And keep ripping up. Now I'm just going to go steal the bees. But, yo, that is why he is so good. He's just so good, yo. They're trying to get under base. And I'm just pushing them back. This is amazing. Now we get all these bees XP. And we rock out from there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yo, Squirtle, chill on my, Chill on me, man. Now I got Hydro Pump ready to rock. Now we're rocking out here. Um, I cut Skull Bash. But I'm actually just going to push him back again. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Just push him back. Take him out from there. And then just go get some HP. Yo, gotta love it, yo. Dude, the Hydro Pump is where it's at. And I can also do this. I can just push wild enemies back towards there. So I can hit him while I'm under base. Just amazing all around. Gotta love it, yo. Gotta love it. Get back, baby. Yo, dude, the pushbacks are insane. And then once you get Surf. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to show you guys Surf. Surf is so good all around. Surf is just phenomenal. Considering it is such a wide range. You can just push back whole squads. Whole team fights, you can just push back enemies. And I'm just going to come up here. I'm eventually just going to get behind these guys and push them back again. Like that. And then scroll bash up into them and get some damage done. I'm actually going to eject button up on here again. See if I can actually just finish up the Squirtle. Oh, yo, he ejected down. Let's try to get him. Get him, Pikachu. You're faster than him. There you go, baby. Take him out. No problem. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. I'm going to go steal his Pokeballs and finish off this Corefish right here. Just get a little bit more XP. And I do have to head back under tower just for a little bit in order to grab... Uh, Got some HP, but the bees have spawned, so let's see if I can actually push some of these bees back. In the meantime, bees, get back here. We need you back here. We need your XP. There's level 7 for me, and I got Surf. Yo, ready? Here's Surf for you guys. Look at this range. Pushing them back. Yo, look at that range. I can push this Best for Queen all the way under my tower, which is awesome all around. Let's see if I can actually take out this Best for Queen for huge H or huge XP. And then I might head back down there towards Dreadnought if I can get some more HP here. But in the meantime, I kind of just want to... Uh, Get all these enemies. I have all these enemies here, which I might just farm up. 
doing by myself push this guy up towards there so i can actually do this all on my own and he got double ko there so it leads me to think he's doing fine right there in that bot lane absolute chipping up on double kill hopefully Sorax goes that way i'm just gonna keep farming and i might go score some points here as well actually he's just chilling under tower i could push him back and maybe score shield up that could be a play that could be a play and i'm just chilling under this bush so if i can get him this way and then just push him back this way yes sir do that and while he's trying to score see if i can push back no you cannot i was gonna say maybe it can go through score shield which could be good for us but you know what let me just push him back again if i can get in front of him no <laughs> i tried pushing him back it didn't work out so well i wonder what he's gonna do i'm just gonna go get some more xp because what i really need is uh general still there general still there let's see yeah he is still there he is still there but what i actually need is just more xp I just need to constantly farm up this XP here. And, you know, let me push you back this way. You son of a biscuit. You know, get back, baby. I ain't dealing with you. I ain't dealing with you. Give me all the XP. I just pump all y'all. Give me that XP, and I'm almost out of Blast Wizard, which could be huge for us. Let's see if I can push all you back. Get out of here. Get out of my face. And where's that Vesper Queen at? I want the Vesper Queen. Give me that Vesper Queen. And now we are sitting at a lovely little Blastoids. A lovely little Blastoids. Gotta love Blast Wizard. I'm gonna grab some HP here and just push him back a little bit. And, okay, he just score shields through that, which is huge. Let's see if he can stay still or something. I can push him back towards my tower. Push him back a little bit, and we can start doing dealing some more damage. And they just got Dreadnought, didn't they? And here comes my absolute beautiful... Uh, can I eject button on this thing? I can just push him up a little bit, slow him down. We need my absolute to cut through that mid. Where's that absolute? Absol, cut through mid. You had an easy kill. See if I can push... Oh, no, are you kidding me? I missed that? Went through my wall. So if I can push all you back here. And I'm just going to dip back. I kind of need my Absol here. If Absol can, like, just tee off over here. Actually, you got Rotom. I'm with that. I have my ult move ready to roll. So if he can actually help me score here, I can actually push him all back with my ult move. I'm just going to use my score shield here to score my 40 points. That should be no problem. Should be no problem. No problem. And I'm going to have to ult here. If I can get this off. There's my ult move. Bang. Look how much damage we're doing. I can actually push up here. Get rid of you. And we can roll out towards you. See if we can get some damage on the U. And there it is. Big old double kill. Blastoise's ult is so good. I just showcased it right there. That's huge. And I should actually return to base. So I'm actually just going to pick up this KO. And I'm, I'm going to return to base and drop back and get all this all Dinos just to get some levels here. But yo, look at that. Yo, you guys see how powerful that was? Pushed everybody back. And it does huge amount of damage. Like a ridiculous amount of damage. Absolutely. Why are you trying to take my all Dinos? Actually, you can get level 12. I just want a little chip up on that. Let's roll here. Bees have spawned. Yo, you got some enemies in the jungle. Why don't you take them? Why don't you go take the enemies in the jungle? You have enemies in the jungle. Actually, uh, Slow Bro's doing that. And, you know, we got all these guys here. I'm just going to push back all of them, deal some massive amount of damage, and shoot all these bees in there and get Hydro Pump Plus, yo. Dude, look at that, baby. Dude, he's so good. This is a close battle. I think uh, we're struggling a little bit. We're on the losing side. But I'm playing very well all around, so I don't mind showcasing Blastoise right here like this. I don't think we died yet either. But I should go help out that bot lane considering Dreadnought is about to spawn, and I can't get my ult move very, very soon, which could be big for your boy. I'm going to come around here for the flank. I'm not even going to worry about the core fish anymore. And let's see if I can push all these guys back from the flank. That could be big. I do have my alt move like coming up in just a second. If I can push all these guys back, that could be huge for us. So let's go right here. Push them all back. And then I'm going to just unite move. Bang. Tee off on them. And none of my teammates are here. None of my teammates are here. So I'm going to have to eject button. If they were up there, yo, we could have just did some work. We could have just did some huge work. I pushed them all back, Unite moved, flustered them all around, yo, did some big damage on all of them, and they're just gonna go get Dreadnought as quickly as they possibly can. Let's see if I can actually head over there and push a few back here. Yo, I'm getting surfed up hard. I'm getting surfed up hard, and there's their Blastoise. Let's see if I can push him back once he gets out of Rapid Spin. And there's that. Let's push you back, and I'm dead. I'm dead, no problem here. See you later, guys. See you later, guys. Yo, that's a tough one. That is a tough one, man. Dude, I played so well. Let me see my team's levels. Team levels aren't bad. They're just out-controlling us. I played that top lane really well. Have zero kills, which kind of stinks, but hey, we're defenders. We are defenders. And we were chilling in that top lane when we were playing, uh, just chilling there by ourselves. So I'm actually going to get a level 12 here in the meantime, so I can just be ready for Zapdos, because that is going to be our shot here. And I think we can still do it here. I think we can still get, uh, Zip Zap. I think we can still get Zip Zap here. But the Blastoise ends up picking up a double KO. It's totally fine. We chilling here. We chilling here. Dude, I love this Pokemon so much. He's so much fun to play. He's so much fun to play. There's KO. There's level 12. We have Surf. We have Hydro Pump. We got a lot of control here. Let's see if I can just Hydro Pump kill this thing. We do not. Uh, do I have to push this thing back for my squad? And yo, you just got ripped. You just got ripped slow, bro. But in the meantime, I'm just going to have to wait for my Pokemon to come in here. If there is Pokemon in this bush. I'm just going to push it back. Let's do this. 
Our team off on this thing. Getting off as much damage as I can. Hopefully getting some XP here. And, yo, they're scoring down there. I'm just waiting. Actually, I can start teeing off. I mean, like, can I push back Zapdos? I cannot. I was trying to think, yo. If I could push him back, that could be huge all around. Let me just start chipping away on his HP. And here comes their Pokemon, which I'm not really liking at all. He's in the bush over here, so I can actually just sneak up here. Just do one of these. I know you're in the bush. You're not in the bush. Wow. Oh, you were in the bush. Why didn't you get pushed back? I'm so confused. So I do have my Unite move. Team battle is about to come out here. If they try to funnel through here, I can uh, push them back here. Let's push them back. Get the KO there. Beautiful. Now we have Surf Plus ready to roll. And we're dealing some damage here. I'm just going to Unite move here. We got Zapdos. That is beautiful. Let's dip out of here. Let's dip out of here. Let's go score some points. Let's go score some points, baby. Look at that. Surfing all the way up there. I have my eject button ready to roll. And we are about to put some points on the board, baby. Maybe potentially winning, which could be huge. Let me surf all the way through. Hydro Pump push you back. And I might die here. I'm going to have to eject button like through this wall or something like this. Eject button this way. I almost have surf. I'm trying to get to this tower. I'm trying to get to this tower. Let's see if I can jump back and get my points on the board. It's exactly what I wanted. Huge. Awesome. That should be game for us. I think we won this one. I think we won this one after all those Zapdos points there. I'm going to die here, which is all good. It's no problem. Actually, I'm still alive here. So I keep pushing back. I'm in this low flux zone, and there's our death. But, yo, getting Zapdos at the end, that was huge. That was huge for us. Let's see. Let's see if we end up picking up that win. I wish there was, like, a scoreboard. I really wish there was a scoreboard. We went 1-5 in five for uh, this first battle, but, yo, I think we played better than our stats to the show. Considering we're a defender, I think we played this one decently well. Hopefully, he doesn't score here. Can you guys hit him? Hit him. There you go. Get him out of here. We, can't, we couldn't let him score points. But yo, I think we won that one. We got a lot of points at the end there. Let's see it. 563, dude. 561. Oh, my Lord. We won by two points. We won by two points. Are you kidding me? Yo, what a match. What a game there. What a game there. How'd I do? I had 153 points. I still didn't score one point. But, yeah, we played great all around that first battle. Let's hop into our second battle. Look to go back to back and showcase Blastoise a little bit better in the second battle. Starting off this video on a strong note, we were able to catch a win in battle number one. We're hopping into our second battle, trying to showcase Blastoise yet again. Hopefully, we get some more kills on the board. That last game, I thought we played decently well in controlling the battle, pushing back enemies, and controlling that top lane really well, considering we were there for a while, did not let our tower go under, and we were just playing it safe. But our bottom lane ended up falling. They ended up getting an early lead, but we were able to get Zapdos and catch ourselves that dub in battle number one. But let's get a dub in battle number two here. We have Cinderace playing the jungle, which I don't mind. Cinderace ain't a bad jungler. We got me and Venus right in that top lane, which is Decent. And I guess Elder Goss and Slowbro can go there in the bottom lane. I mean, there are better teams. There are better team comps, but hey, we're going to carry with this Blastoise. Once I get the levels up, we should be thriving. We should be thriving. But there are definitely better team comps. Definitely better team comps than this. But yo, now that Blastoise is out, I'm starting to play three characters. I'm starting to play Blastoise. You guys already know I know how to play Blissey. And Greninja is my main, so I'm able to rock out with him. But their team's looking decently strong as well. Their bottom lane with Greninja could be awesome. Greninja and Slowbro could be good. Or Greninja, or not Greninja, Garchomp, I'm trying to say. Garchomp and Pikachu, or Garchomp and Slowbro could work well. The jungler definitely should be Talonflame, and then our top lane's going to be pretty tough. With the Pikachu and Cinderace, we definitely got to watch out for that. We definitely got to watch out for that. As long as our Cinderace plays the jungle well and comes in at the right time, I think we should be fine. I just got to play a little bit smart, a little bit back more. But I'm going to go for my little Corefish strat. Go for that Corefish off the rip, push him back with Water Gun, and get him on that early so we can get a little bit of an XP lead. Let's roll, baby. Let's roll, yo. I'm loving this Pokemon so much, yo. His Unite move is nasty. It is so good, yo. He's definitely going to need a nerf, I think. Actually, I don't know. He's just great all around. We can take him out and push this guy up. And, of course, I miss him with my Water Gun. That one's on me. Take him out there. Then we go. Get my level 2. Now let's see if I can push this guy back. Can I push this one back? There you go. He's moving. And then with the Water Gun. And now I don't have Water Gun, which is a little tough. So I wish I did have it. But I think they're already coming after the Core Fish. Which could be right. I can just go here, and of course they get it, and now we're fine. I was going to push him back with Water Gun, but I'm just going to save it for my Apom, and just get my levels this way. Now let's roll here. Score Bunny's doing well. He's almost done his little jungle adventure early on, <laughs> which is great. And I take you out, and again, I'm just going to wait till level, or not level 9, till the 9 minute mark to get the Core Fish and get my next level. There's our Score Bunny, or Raboot, I should say. He's chilling there. Maybe he can come in here and help us pick up a KO. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'm kind of waiting for that, but let's go get this core fish. Get my levels up. Actually, we can potentially both get this next level. I'm just going to hit him with a water gun early on. There it is. Bang. Get off on him. And yo, Slowbro getting a kill on Fletch Shinder. I love it. And they're up there fighting. That's totally fine. I'm just going to go get this, and I'm going to come up here now and go get the uh, 
The bees, baby. The bees are here. Push the bees back a little bit. I should have tried to get on the other side and push them back. But it's all good. We have three guys here, so I could, we could just tee off on them and go from there. Let's fucking just water gun these boys. Get back, baby. Get back. We ain't dealing with you. My head mid get some levels with the core fish. There is Gibble. Gibble's chilling there. If I can sneak behind and get a pushback, that could be huge for us. But in the meantime, I'm just going to get to get this core fish. Get these levels on these core fish. These lovely little core fish. I could drop to the bot. Or not to the bot. To the central. Get a core fish here. And head back to the top. Let the score bunny get the rest. Let that lovely little score bunny get the rest of those. If I can uh, dash through this guy and get the kill. There it is. Bang. Get the XP from there. And roll off from here. I'm actually going to go sneak this core fish here. Because I would love to get level 5. Level 5 can just be big for you, boy. While that Ivysaur is chilling on our tower, we're just playing it slow. Like I said, I like to get levels early on, especially with this Pokemon right here. Let's see if we get Hydro Pump at this level. Bigger pushback, bigger damage dealt. Gotta love it all around. So for now, we can get HP. Kind of chill on our tower. Wait for these guys to make a move, push up. And I'm actually just gonna go run and get this Corefish. <laughs> at 7 minute mark, the what's called will spawn. The Dreadnought. So I might want to start making my way down there, because that's a huge first uh, kill. If you can get Drenol right off the rip, you're going to start taking a nice little lead early on. Considering your whole team gets XP. Oh, yo, what are you doing, dog? Uh, you had to dip back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Trying to get some early damage on us. Maybe I can get an early score on to them. That could be big for us. I don't think he saw me in this bush. He might have. He might have. Let's see what he does from here. Let's actually dip here. Push you back, and I'm just going to dip out here. Get that, and get after all these guys. Can I get Hydro Cannon again? I see. Oh, that's Arsenary, which is lovely. Let me push these guys back. That's Arsenary chilling there. Look at him. They still have a score bunny. He's level 8. He's chilling. We're getting some mad damage. And we're going to go for a score here. I'm going to go for a score here. If I can just push you back. Actually, I have a score shield. I don't think he can deal enough damage here. Can you help me out here? Yes, sir. Score shield coming up big for us. Getting them points. And we have Surf Ray to rock. I can actually just do this. Oh, we were so close. There we go. Get that KO there. And he's going to be able to score some points there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got XP. We got Surf Ray to rock. Yo, dude, that range on that thing. And it pushes Rotom back like crazy. Gotta love it. I'm going to wait for a Cinerace in order to actually attack this Rotom. Because I don't want to waste time. I'd rather get some XP and go from here. And, yo, dude, our Cinerace is doing pretty good. But I think we're going to need somebody maybe taking over this jungle area. Keep going after this thing. Dealing some damage. I wish that thing hit multiple times instead of just one hit and a full pushback. But I think it would be broken at that point. But let me grab all these. I can actually hit level 8 if I go for a score here. What Cinerace is going to do? And we can take out Tower, which could be big. Taking out Tower. Bang, 21. Get level 8. And now we can actually steal Rotom and push him closer to the Tower. Which is awesome all around. Give me that Rotom. Give me that Rotom. Alright, Rotom's dead. I'm just gonna go down here. I don't like these wild enemies just sitting here doing nothing. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's just awful when they're sitting there doing nothing. And I can hit level 9 with some of these core fish. And we get ripping out from there and get ourselves Blastoids. But yeah, we're rolling out pretty strong here. Playing great top lane. Playing great top lane. And I really like playing defender role. Like, not having to worry about kills. Just playing defensively. Pushing back enemies. Helping out ally Pokemon in order for them to get the kills. It's just awesome all around. Uh, that should be able to pick up the KO there. And we got Blastoids. And is Drenol down there? Oh, he is down there. I'm going to go down there. Just surf through. Surf through. Cinerace with a double kill in that top lane. And I'm coming through, baby. Not worried about the bees. We'll get the bees later. We shall get the bees later. I'll be able to push back any type of enemy. I'm actually just going to push this Drenol. No, we cannot push Drenol. I, f I was thinking maybe we can push back Drenol. Let's push back these guys. Push it back again. Oh, we're getting teed off on. Can I eject button? I'm actually just going to ult here. Bang, send it all. Did I just get a double kill with that? I got one kill. Not for a fact. Let's see if I can push you back. I got a double kill, actually, which is huge, yo. Double kill with the alt. So good all around. And we're going to be able to take out Drenol here, which is great. Which is just huge. We're probably going to make these dudes cancel, or we're just going to dominate this battle. That is huge, baby. Get these dudes out of here. Don't let them steal Drenol. I can finish them off. You guys get the kill. Thank you very much. Actually, I should have been the one holding them off, but it's all good. But look at that. Drenol kill for me. I end up getting that. Pushing back all these bees. Getting all these points, and we are rolling out so strong right now. Give me my levels, baby. Give me my levels. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love this Blastoise. Dude, he's so good. Seriously, I think... Oh, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? I'm here, baby. Push you back into the team, and you were dead. You were dead, no problem. No problem, yo. Get out of my game. We got Surf again. I'm gonna end up calling a Surf. I think we might have got a KO there. Maybe we can get a KO here. Yo, get these things out of here, yo. Bunch of assists coming in here. We just wiping out in team battles. I'm just going to push this Pikachu back. Get back, Pikachu. Get back, yo. Everybody can score. Everyone can score. I'll control it. Everybody can score. <laughs> get this thing out of here. Get this thing out of here. Go ahead. Step up, Town Flame. I dare you, man. Go ahead, Town Flame. Let me push you back. Let me push you back. Let me push you back. I know I'm low HP, but yo, we thriving here. We thriving here, yo. We are just controlling towers. 
I'll push him back again if let's get my hydro pump. Oh no. I was chilling under there with low HP. Just keep trying to push it back. But look how we're doing, yo. 3 and 7 with Blastoids. Got a bunch of points. Cinderace is bulked up. He's bulked at level 13. He's just been chilling in that top lane. Just doing work. Leveling up. Just controlling that top lane by himself. Yo, I love it so much. Love it so much. They're actually coming to our tower, so. I'm gonna go help there. I think Cinderace has that unlock over there. And I can actually, if there's a bunch of them over there, I'm just gonna push them all back. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Push them back again. And roll off from there. And I have my ult, which I'm just gonna send. They're all three here. Look at that damage. KO there, which is huge. I'm just gonna surf up on these guys in a second. There's another KO for your boy. And where you at, Pikachu? I know you're somewhere over here. Where'd you go, baby? There he is. There he is. Yeah, you better run, baby. <laughs> yeah, you guys see how strong his ult is? It's ridiculous. You get any enemy inside that, push them back. It does a crazy amount of damage and controls the area so much. But I'm gonna call the team to that bot lane. Considering if we get red on one more time, we'll pretty much clean up this match. We shall clean up this match. So, in the meantime, I'm just gonna get my big shot ready. There it is. He's gonna deal some damage on me. And we're gonna hit up on him. Hello, Elder Goss. How you doing, sweetheart? How you doing, sweetheart? I wish we could push back Dreadnought. Like, we could push back Rotom, but not Dreadnought. That makes sense. If I can push back Dreadnought or, uh, or what's called, that would be a little OP. And, you know, where do, what's these guys doing here? I think Talonflame's gonna hop in here. I might have to try to push him back. Need some HP here. I think he's in here. He might be in there. I'm gonna push you back. Actually, let's just go into here. And they end up getting that. It's a whack. I might just surf out here. Yeah, I'm just gonna surf out. Dip back a little bit. And loop around this way. Come on, Talonflame. You want smoke? I'll push all you back. All you guys get back. Get back, baby. Get back. We don't need you here. Yo, Pikachu, what you want, fool? Push you back. Get out of here. Get out of here. A check button up. Get him. Get him. Oh, yo, we almost had him. Cinderace might get him there. Cinderace, you get him? I think he did. Yeah, Cinderace was able to get that. That is so good, man. They're just chilling under tower, and I'm just throwing them. I am just throwing them into a totally different area. We always have our Unite move once again, which can be big for us. I'm just going to surf up into this, and our Cinderace is just teeing off. I told you, yo, he's bulked. Very strong. Let me push this Talonflame back, get a KO like that, and we have Surf Ray to rock once again. That's huge. He's gonna go back to base in his little bubble. I could Unite move. I could. I might. Let me push you back a little bit and then Surf into you again. Yeah, let's keep, just keep pushing you back. You have Unite move ready to rock, dude. I could take him out anytime I want. If I had Surf, I can get him right here. He's gonna dip a little bit. That's totally fine. All we gotta do is control Zapdos, not let them get it, so I'm not even gonna hit up on him. I'm not even going to hit up on Zapdos because I don't want him stealing it. I'm just going to wait. Gene's just going to wait. I can come in here unless we get a good chance to actually take them all out. Oh, I might have to dip back here. Dip back a little bit. I'm going to go back to base real quick. I'm going to go back to base and then I'll fight this. Looks like I'm going back to base anyway. <laughs> I should have dipped back more. Um, His HP is kind of low. Their picture got double kill. So if Elder Gauss can come in there, that could be big. Do we have anybody spawning soon? We need our Slowbro to get up there. E. Yeah, I don't like this one. Elder Gloss, we're gonna need you here. Slowbro, where you at? Slowbro would have killed Slowbro. We need you here. Elder Gloss, can you get that? We got the defend. We got the defend. I'm gonna hop all the way over and try to push back. We know he's coming to the top. We're gonna have to use this. Oh, are you kidding me? He's gonna get guarantee these points here. We're gonna have to ult on you. Get back. Where's this where's this guard chomp at? Push him back. There we go. Got a kill there. So minus 100 points there. That's big for us. And we took out the team. So I think we should still be fine. I am going to go up and try to score some... Ooh, Pikachu scoring points. We need some points. Venus, I need you scoring there. I need you scoring that 100 points, baby. Good work, Venus. Okay, that should do it for us, I think. I think we should be fine with the points. I am going to still try to go score some points. Actually, no, there's no point. And I, if we lose, I can blame myself there. Because I had my Unite move and I tried, uh, I tried pushing up a little bit. But I think we should be fine. They only got 200 points. We got 100. We were able to keep that guard chomp off the board. But 507 to 241. Okay, beautiful. We dominated that battle. No problem. They can even have Zapdos, and we will still catch ourselves a win. Let's see how we did here. I think we did good all around. We got a decent amount of kills. Got some assists. Scored a decent amount of points as well. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yo, 7 and 11 with a defender? With a defender? Yo, we popped off. We popped off. There it is, guys. Showed off two ranked battles with the brand new Blastoise character. Showed off how to use them, what items to use, and what moves to use on him as well. Awesome video today. Showcase Blastoise 2 is fullest potential. Guys, I never got to ask question of the day during the video because your boy totally forgot. But let me know your guys' overall thoughts on Blastoise in Pokemon Unite. For me, I think he is so good. One of the best defenders in the game. I feel like every time a new Pokemon comes out, they are just top tier in their level. And same thing goes to Blastoise. Great defender, has great control, has a lot of pushback, and his Unite move, like you saw, is absolutely broken. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. 
so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.